Hi guys, it's Carol. How are ya? While I talk to you, I'm going to color a picture. This is from this color book. I believe this is one that Patty sent me. I really like it because, um, like on a page, the reverse side will be black. It's not supposed to bleed through, but it does. But it, that helps an awful lot. Um, how are you guys doing? We are doing okay here. Welcome, new subs. I have a whole bunch of new subs. I'm so happy you're here with me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, my grandsons, for my new subs, I have four grandkids. I have four kids. They're all adults. And I have four grandkids. Um, the two oldest boys are 19 and almost 21. And then I have a younger son, a grandson that is seven, and a granddaughter who is 10. Um, the older two grandsons had COVID, but they think they are much better. They're going to go to work tomorrow. I said, don't you have to get a um, negative test before you return to work? And they said, I don't think so. <laughs> I think... I think they may be in for surprise. I'm not sure, but I don't know anything about COVID. I've, you know, I've never had it. I don't know what the rules are about it. Um, my grandsons that had COVID uh, live with their dad and stepmom, and everybody in the household had COVID at the same time. I, I just can't imagine. Uh, there's the mom and the dad and my Grandsons have two little brothers. Everybody had it. Um, we could, nobody could visit them, of course. Um, their mom, Becky, my oldest daughter, could take groceries and leave on their porch for them. And then they would get them when she got uh, back in her car. My oldest grandson asked her to bring stuff so he could make banana pudding. Um... But anyway, they it's been two weeks. They think they're fine. They still have a cough, they said. I think mostly they are bored from being stuck inside. Um, but they think they don't have fevers anymore. They're, they really think they're doing a lot better. But um, my ex-husband, my kid's dad, has had COVID for, I guess, a week since he got no, it was last Friday night. She, His wife took him to the emergency room because he had a high fever. And they did a COVID test and he was positive. But they sent him home. And uh, for the entire week, he, his fever just didn't get any better. So last night, she took him to the ER again in the middle of the night. His fever got really high. And he was in trouble. So took him to the ER, and they admitted him to the hospital. He's not on a ventilator, uh, but he has oxygen. Um, because his wife brought him to the emergency room and had been with him, of course. She has to be in quarantine now. She's a school teacher, and school starts um, for teachers next week. <laughs> so she's going to miss, miss the beginning uh, she'll have to be quarantined for two weeks. And then he can, can't can have visitors except for one person, one time a day, and for 30 minutes only. But because she was the one that's been with him, uh, the hospital won't let it be her. She can't go visit him. So uh, she was telling Casey that what they do is you have to wear two masks, uh, a, a lot of protective gear that completely covers you, gloves, everything. And then, um, so they go to this one place, they have to wear a mask to get in there, and then they will seat you up in case you can go visit him for 30 minutes tomorrow. And we'll see how that goes. Um, my kids are just really worried, and so that really worries me. And he's not in real good health anyway. I mean, he has a lot of problems, but so it is scary that he's in the hospital and has COVID. Oh, he has pneumonia, too. I forgot. 
when they took him when she took him to the hospital Sunday night with the high high fever they discovered he has pneumonia now so um, it's been a stressful day with me and my kids uh, but anyway enough of that uh, I'm doing good I am doing good except I need structure if I don't have structure I forget to do things like take my medicine and I have missed my de medicine three different days recently, like in the last week. And I can't do that. It, it just dumps me in the depression hellhole when I miss my medicine. And you would think I would not miss it. But uh, some of my medicine I have to take on an empty stomach. Some I have to take with food. My psychiatrist told me, that even though at the hospital they just bring you a cup full of pills and you take them all, it's best not to take them together. Uh, so I have medication spread out throughout the day before that and my thyroid, and then I take a, a bunch of supplements. When my grandsons um, were diagnosed with COVID, the doctor told them to take a lot of vitamin D, zinc, vitamin C, it's something else that I don't remember. Anyway, and I take all those vitamins, but I take them one at a time. So I have something to take all day long. And if I don't have structure, I just totally forget. If my grandkids aren't here with me, for my new subs, uh, my little grandkids, the 7 and 10-year-old, have stayed with me their entire lives while their parents work. And... Um, when they're here with me, you know, I have to have lunch for them. We have breakfast. We have lunch. Um, everything's pretty structured because they're here. And then I do really good about getting my medicine at the right time or at all. <laughs> but when they're not here, I just do what I want to when I want to. I may have oatmeal for breakfast, and then I don't need anything again to eat until like 3, 4, 5 o'clock. So, because I wasn't hungry at lunch and didn't eat, I didn't think to take my medicine. So, I'm back on track now. I got my, my pills in me today, but it'll take a little while for me to um, recover a little bit. But anyway, while my grandkids were gone, they went to see their other grandma uh, last week. And they decided they want to stay this week, too. I thought this would be a great time for me to clean out my pantry and take my kitchen shelves apart and wipe them down with Clorox wipes and put in shelf paper and redo all of that. Well, I am slow as, as can be at things. I am just slow. My mother said a million gazillion times, Moses was slow, sissy, but he was old. They called me sissy. I don't like sissy, but that's what they call me. Anyway, I just was born that way, and that's how I am. I have a niece who's the exact same way. It just takes us a long time to get anything done. But anyway, I got, I have a pretty good supply of food. I got it all off the shelves, spread out, washed the lids off with a Clorox wipe, took a black magic marker and wrote expiration dates on them and um, sorted them out. I'm in the middle of counting them and deciding I want to have a list. So when I have extra money, I know, oh, I need to buy this. I want to get at least a six month supply of things. I do have that on some things, but not everything by long shot. So, I want to make a list and uh, figure that out. Um, anyway, I'm working on it, but I haven't. I've got it spread all over the place, and I haven't got it all put back together yet. When I get everything put back on the shelves, I'll show you. Um, I should have taken a before picture, but I didn't do that. But anyway, that's what's up with me. I. Um, my brain's just not working. I have read all the comments. I love them. I love all the comments. I love all the questions you came up with for me. But 
Um, I read them all at least twice, but I just wasn't up to responding. But I will get there. Uh, the first time I read them, I didn't do anything because I was tended to go back and uh, reply. And then I never got that done. And so I went back today and put hearts on all of them so you'd know that I read them. And I've been writing the questions down. New subs, I asked my subs if, you know, if we were just sitting here coloring a page together, what would you ask me? And so um, they've been sending me questions. You can send me questions too. Um, and that has given me a lot of ideas for videos. Thank you so much. That's a big help to me. I have a hard time figuring out what to make a video about. But anyway, that's what's going on with me. That's why I haven't answered comments. Um, I've just let myself get in the depression hellhole, and I've got to get back on my meds and get myself out. Um, so what's going on with you? Let me know what's going on in your life. And uh, leave me a comment and tell me anything. Ask me a question. Tell me what's going on with you. Whatever. If you could, give me a thumbs up. That tells YouTube something, and then they they suggest my videos more often to other people if, if I get thumbs up a lot. So, can I have a thumbs up? <laughs> okay, guys, I'll talk to you probably tomorrow, and I'll have a better video. Bye-bye.